still family. Okay. Guys, hey, 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 guys. So if you know you're where you are, we are okay. If you know you are about to double cross KFC, McDonald's, and which of our restaurant that makes chips, say yeah, yeah. And if you know that you are not done in our team, shall stay and watch us. You might actually change your mind. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ashidemis, and of course, you're watching Ashidemis with Pono. So, family, today, as usual, as always, I bring to you now good tidings. Look at that. So, today, we'll be making homemade frozen potatoes like the one used to buy there's this time like at times when i buy um this um frozen french fries from the supermarket to keep in my face that's when nepa will show me pepe but this night i think because of the preservative they should put everything in that become i don't even understand it then it really do not last when you open it like that so that was how i was not like instead of me using my money to buy 500 gram of frozen potato um, french fries for like 1500 let me just buy one kg of potato for 400 naira, a PTV 100 naira, and I'll get more than that in a very healthy and kidney con way. You understand? And aside that, too, is and I say homemade is just the best. All this one will just buy for okay, let me just cut just a second. So, here's my potato, and the type of potato we use for frozen french fries, um, french fries is Irish potato. So, when you get there, there's this type of potato, I've forgotten to come on, but this one is Irish potato, this one is very, very soft. So I've soaked it, not like I've soaked it in the pan, I've sure I peeled it, washed the bar, peeled it and rinsed it. So now what we're going to do now, why I put inside water guys, so that it's not going to burn. So we're going to be doing next is. So we're just going to put it like this. If you like it very thin, then make it thin. If you like it very clinical, clinical, make it very clinical, clinical. You get me? So I'm just going to be doing this. Anyone that you see that has big belly like this, just cut it like this so that it will be flat. Anyone with big belly about the pregnancy, like this, and then you're just going to cut it. So I'm putting this inside water so it's not brown. Next leg. Oh, you see that's belly, just cut it side.
so fun. Okay, guys, so we're going to leave this inside water to soak for like 30 minutes. The essence of this is to remove the excess stash. So feel free to cut into any size of your choice if you like it thin, if you like it fat. For me, I like it thin and fat. You know, for an OSA patient, it's not really good to be thin, crispy, this thing, but just for me to have that crispy feeling. So I'll cut some thin and I'll cut some fat, but feel free. <laughs> This is disclaimer. I'm not in any way recommending this thing for an ulcer kidney. Collagen, colomo, any you say is actually This is what works best best for me. You got me. So just find what works best for you. So when I'm taking the thin one, you know, I eat the thin one too. I eat the fat one too. So both of them, they will go and equalize inside my stomach. So I'm going to leave this to soak for like 30 minutes. So family, this has been soaking for like 30 minutes or more. So I add salt to water. I'm going to leave this to boil. Very, very like hot boil. So I'm just going to give this a very sweet wash. Transfer it to the cup because I'm going to wash it very, very well. Okay. So once that is set, just going to lower this inside our boiling water. I'm going to leave this to boil for just five minutes. Piat minute. <laughs> just piat minute. Five minutes. I just spoke Russian, guys. Oh my goodness. Five minutes to just over boil it. Just five minutes. So it's five minutes. So I'm just going to stir this and start eating. <laughs> So find hot water, sorry, cold water, so that I can stop cooking. So what's that say? I'll be laying down the paper to me. Then. I'm cooking under the fat oil to dry it out. This fat oil is fake. It doesn't drain anything. It's just like tissue paper. You can just try and put it near the window shaft, or if you have original paper towel, 
just dry it like this. This one can also cope anything. See, small water and don't soft. So just leave it to dry a bit. So family, so family, it's kind of dried now. So now I'm going to turn this inside of a container or a bowl or anything. I try, try anything with them so that this next process will be easy for you. I know that some of you are going to get tired without the shifty shifty of but no wonder it is expensive. So now I'm going to be putting in my corn stash. You can use corn flour, you can use corn stash. You should have corn. So I'll keep like this. This is cornstarch that gives it that real crispiness, you know. You go. Make sure it's really, really coated. Everything is coated here. So once that is set, we just make sure that the distance on it is not too much. You can as well use a sieve to save it. Just remove the excess. Extension. Mm-hmm. 